scheduler. Keeps track of the comings and goings on within the church. And I'm going to look at a monthly view here. Looks like I might need to go back some to uh, get my get some calendar information in place. Pardon me, folks, while I zip back in time so I can... I know somewhere back here I have a pretty decent-looking month of data. There we go. So we're, we're seeing Sunday morning worship. A uh, little circle here tells you it's a, recir it's a uh, recurring event. Looks like Wednesday nights we have youth basketball. Let's look at the weekly view here. Yeah, here we go. Sunday morning worship in the sanctuary. Uh, youth basketball in the gym. Music basketball is kind of like a game of Clue there. Wouldn't it be nice to have a coffee break every day timed out at 3 o'clock perfectly? Um, so you can see the pancake breakfast is second Saturday of the month here. Scheduler um, is very handy for specifically, uh, especially for churches on networks or those using Church Windows Web because once you enter something in here, everybody else can see it. So we know that a specific room, you can set up locations based on the physical layout of your church so that everybody knows a specific room has been spoken for for a specific time on a specific day. It can prevent things like, uh, you know, double booking the sanctuary for two different weddings on the same day. You know, would would kind of be a nightmare. Uh, most brides and grooms don't really want to share their special day. Uh, we can also see what equipment has been uh, obligated for. So Wednesday nights, I'm guessing basketballs down here are are taken. I don't. I'm not on a Wednesday, but Wednesday night. There we are. See the basketballs have been spoken for on Wednesday night. Uh, if we have two different groups that need an overhead projector, you can see here there's only one. So if if their meetings are at the same time, they're going to have to work that one out in good brotherly sisterly Christian love because. There's only one overhead projector. Um, we can also make sure we don't double book people, although we realize a lot of times the pastor's running from one meeting to the next in order to try to be everywhere at once. Two things that scheduler is commonly used for. One is you can export this information in the VCAL file format, which is the most popular scheduler format. Uh, you can export it for use maybe on the church website or something like that. And you can also use Scheduler to do volunteer tracking. You can make sure you have enough uh, ushers for a specific Sunday. You can print a report that shows how many volunteers you have and uh, maybe you need to make an announcement to get a couple more, um, couple more ushers for a future, for an upcoming Sunday. So, very, very handy part of the program. <laughs> 